Hello. I suggest you crochet a beautiful and very simple ribbon lace. Lace that fits in one direction at once. That is, it can be tied in length per square meter. This lace consists of repeating fragments. These fragments, being tied one after another, are carried out to the required length of the entire lace. It will look very nice as a decoration. You can tie the necessary square footage of lace and sew, for example, on any product. Or these ribbons are well connected to each other. On each fragment there is a pico, with which you can connect the tapes. Also, if, for example, to tie the hem, bottom of a skirt or dress. This lace is easily connected into a ring due to these fragments. It is necessary to tie the desired length and then just sew the lace. Lace looks almost the same on both sides. This is how one side of the lace looks, this is how the other side looks. This lace fits very simply. So easy and simple that even any beginner can cope. I knitted this lace from thin cotton in 50 grams, I have 280 meters and used a thin 0.75 millimeters for knitting. We perform the first loop. And we will tie a chain of 8 air loops. The first loop, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth air loop. Then we perform two capes on the hook. In the very first air loop we will tie a column with two capes. First we knit the first cape, then the second cape and two loops together. Next, we perform three air loops, turn the knitting to the other side, perform one cape on the hook and tie seven columns with one cape under the air chain. The first column with one cape, the second column with one cape, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh column with one cape. Then we perform three air loops, turn the knitting to the other side. We skip one loop of the base, we will tie a column without a cape into the next one. Once again, three air loops, we skip one loop of the base, we will tie a column without a cape into the next one. And once again 3 air loops, now we will tie a column without a cape into the corner, 1 air loop, turn the knitting to the other side and now we will tie these 3 small arches with columns without a cape. First, we will tie 2 columns without a cape. Then we will perform a pico of three air loops. We tied three air loops, then into the base, grabbing two threads on a hook, we will tie a connecting column. A loop was stretched and the same loop was stretched through the main loop. And here in the same arch we will tie two more columns without a cape. The first and the second.
then we will tie two more small arches in the same way. First, tying two columns without a cape into each arch, the first column and the second column without a cape, then a pico of three air loops, three air loops, a connecting column into the base. And on the second half of this arch there are also two columns without a cape, the first and the second. The next arch is similarly two columns without a cape, three air loops, a connecting column at the base of the air chain and two and two columns without a cape, the first and second. The first fragment of this lace turned out. Then we will tie the next fragment. We collect four air loops, perform one cape on the hook, and here we will tie the same ring with a column with one cape. Then three air loops, turn the knitting to the other side. Perform one cape on the hook and here we will knit seven columns with one cape under the air chain. The first column, the second column, the third column, the fourth column with one cape, the fifth, sixth and seventh column with one cape. Then we perform three air loops, turn the knitting to the other side and here we will knit three arches over the columns. We tie a column without a cape, once again three air loops and a column without a cape. And once again three air loops in the corner of the column without a cape. It turned out three small arches. One air loop, turn the knitting to the other side and now we will tie these arches. First, two columns without a cape, then a pico of three air loops and two columns without a cape. The second and third arches were tied in the same way. Next, we will perform the transition to the next fragment. To do this, we will tie four air loops. One, two, three, four. And now in the first pico we will tie a column without a cape. Then we perform three air lifting loops, turn the knitting to the other side, perform one cape on the hook and here we will knit seven columns with one cape under this arch. The first column, the second column, the third column, the fourth column, the fifth, sixth and seventh column with one cape. Then we perform three air loops, turn the knitting to the other side and knit three arches from above. A column without a cape, then three air loops, a column without a cape and the third time three air loops, a column without a cape, one air loop, turn the knitting to the other side and tie these arches in the same way.
First, two columns without a cape, a pico of three air loops and two columns without a cape. In the same way, we tied the second and third arches and then we will knit the next fragment. For the next fragment, we dial four air loops, one, two, three, four. And in the first pico we will tie a column without a cape. We perform three aerial lifting loops, turn the knitting to the other side, perform one cape on the hook and in the same way we knit another fragment of this lace. As a result, tying fragment by fragment, the necessary length of this lace is performed. Here is such a wonderful and very simple lace turns out. This is one side, this is the other side of the lace, almost exactly the same looks. I thank you for your attention. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much for the warm, pleasant words in the comments. Thank you very much for your support. Let's knit together.